Hi, salam sejahtera. This is Kids Bricks, Mind Over Bricks, and Driving the Bricks. Hey guys, John here. In today's episode, we're going to be reviewing Lego Star Wars set 75083 titled ATDP. We're going to try something new this time and hopefully you like it. This set comes with exactly 500 pieces to make the ATDP and includes 4 minifigures. The price point is about 300 ringgit which comes down to about 60 cents per piece. Considering this, it is very much reasonable but the cost of the set is quite high for those who can't afford. On the designer's note, I believe that this is the optimized number of pieces that LEGO have tried to make. We'll have a look at the pros and cons for this later on. For now, enjoy the speed build. Alright guys, let's have a look at the minifigures first. On the left is the Stormtrooper. Then we have two ATDP pilots, and finally on the far right is Agent Callus. As far as I know, Agent Callus is the exclusive minifigure for this set. Let's go and have a closer look at them. First, we have the Stormtrooper. He's equipped with the longer blaster compared to the other two pilots. The printing is very detailed, and I believe the offset is minor and negligible. The accuracy is good. The helmet design is accurately represented. Lego have not gone with a two-tone plastic design, nevertheless, it's still good. There's no helmet printing on the back. The torso is again detailed and accurately printed. No printing on the legs or sides either. Next, we're looking at the two ATDP pilots. The different tones on the torso is really fine and you can see that they connect accurately from top to bottom. There are no face given to these pilots, instead they have shadow prints to give a sense of surface and texture. Likewise, the rear torso is detailed, no prints on the legs and sides either. Now, this hero is Agent Callus. He supports a darker shade of the Imperial uniform. His details are mainly focused from the head to the torso. His weapon of choice is a mixture of a lightsaber hilt joined with two blasters at both ends. His helmet piece is a new mode design which I like a lot. He has a secondary face too. This minifigure is great, but not to the scale of the Inquisitor from another set. I wish that LEGO could have given him an armor piece to wear. The star of this set is of course the ATDP. The front looks like a chameleon head with a turret underneath. It articulates great in most directions to cover blind spots as much as possible. Side view looks great too. The top can be opened up for ease of access to the minifigures. Lego could have done something here. A plate to cover up all the technique pieces should do. It will help with the opening and closing of the top hatch too. The small hatch can be opened up to simulate the entry point. However, to access the internals, the entire top needs to be flipped open. articulation, there's not much to go with. Sure the head turns and all but the legs and balance are very much limited. This is part of an effort to keep the parts count down, hence reducing the cost of this set. In summary, I reckon this is a balanced set. There are features and parts that I wished was included but LEGO had to take them out to reduce the number of pieces and make this set more affordable. In that sense, let's hope that LEGO can make more affordable, great sets for all kids of different backgrounds and cultures to be able to buy them. As usual guys, for more information, queries and discount prices, Hit us up on kissbreaks at gmail.com. I'll see you now.